Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of my camper and hopefully the noise from outside doesn't take over this video. Um, <clears throat> this door, I got this little decorative piece at Hobby Lobby on clearance and I spray painted it and then I just used, um, why can't I think, zip ties and screwed through the door because I didn't mind if it looked like that. I also rescreened um, the door itself, both ends, and spray painted it white. I also finally got my tires done of spray painting the whole rim and everything. This is actually spray paint on here. We actually, um, one of our friends had a sprayer, so we actually just sprayed the whole camper and then we got that like wavy tape from Duck or whatever brand and used the wave on it, spray painted that, blocked off everything else. These are little sticker decals so that you don't have to be perfect at getting a circle. I got that from our local uh, truck stop. They do vinyl work. This window, because I use my camper as a business, is considered a vending window. So we just used, it's a long story anyway, it didn't have the correct window in there to begin with so we put in essentially a normal window from a house. And then coming into the camper, this is sticky tile um, that's supposed to look like wood. It is starting to peel up in here so I have to do a different option. Gotta have my Rosie in the camper. And then this is an egg beater that my friend found in his old garage. Um, starting here, here's our cushions. We had to rebuild that seat. My dad helped me rebuild that. I'm going to be refinishing the Formica top and using and making a glitter top. Made my curtains. Those are on both sides and cupcakes because this is a cupcake camper. Put in new lights. I think we got those at Home Depot or something like that. We put up all this beadboard because it was Luan before and I didn't like how it looked. And we also cut, people call it gingerbread. We cut the little wave out of it on the bottom of there um, because I liked how it matched down here. Um, let's see. I painted over the Luan um, where the blue is and then we just kind of trimmed everything out. Now there is some spots that have gotten water damage since um, I have repaired the camper which means it was com coming from up above, so I had to go out this year and get all that changed out. Um, so I'll be painting, repainting that. Um, this is the bathroom door that I've taken off and spray painted with chalkboard paint, so it gives our places and events that are coming up for the cake, cupcake business, which I actually took out my toilet, I'll show you guys, and covered up because I'm not actually using the toilet in here. Um, it, the whole system wasn't working very well and I didn't want to take the time God, that truck is so loud. I didn't want to take the time to have to go to um, a campground and empty out every time we got back from doing some sales at the farmers market or anywhere else that we would be going to a festival or an event. So I just completely took that out and I'm just gonna put a chemical toilet in there that we can dump ourselves. This is the closet door. Um, I took that off, put some like batting down and then wrapped this fabric around it and then put my little um, ribbon from Hobby Lobby on there. I'll open it up to show you guys. I basically hot glued and stapled most of this. I think actually it all ended up being glued on because um, they had wallpapered all of, pretty much all of this thing was wallpapered or it was the Luan and it wasn't looking good. Um, so far I got these shel this shelving cut yesterday and this one I just used scrap stuff because I'm just going to keep like, these are my cupcake boxes that I use. Once they're all folded up you can see the cupcake in them. So I'm going to make that a little bit more organized. And I also got my first aid kit, so I got that in there. And then my cleaning supplies are gonna go down here once I get some more, like I said, containers and plastic bags, or, or I mean plastic containers to hold stuff into. This I gotta lock that way. Which, because I did, I 
made this a little bit thicker the lock had to be extended out and this part was kind of ripped anyway from the Luan it wasn't holding this in so we just put a little piece of trim there and got this kind of a lock rather than like one of these handles so I just spray painted that red here's one of those uh, nostalgia electric fridges um, this is the supposed to be the red color I do think it comes off as coral um, when you compare it to that kind of a red red that I've got but it's not enough that it makes a terrible difference I did have to put this red duct tape here because when I was traveling with it when I was fixing my camper one of the cabinets came up and rubbed off right here and it looked really bad and I didn't have the time to like take it apart and paint it like it should be so I just put the red duct tape and then I took some of my decals from outside and put them on the fridge and I think it's cute and I don't even worry about it anymore um, we did you can't really see under in there but like there's these little feet um, for the for the fridge my camera's not focusing all that well anyway we kind of drilled holes in the in the base where it's held so that it doesn't shake out of that little spot this used to be a drawer and the drawer was basically in shambles I have another one that's not doing good it was just you know that fiber board so it just was crumbling basically um, so we decided to panel over it um, and that's pretty much it spray painted the heater vent which this is kind of a disguise as well I don't know where the nameplate went but um, <clears throat> we took out the heater system in this too so I kind of use this area which you can tell I have some junk in it um, just for storage and then I cut off the end of my what was the like heater vent kind of thing so that I could cover it up and try to make it somewhat weatherproofed so I have screws in the bottom of here and then I lift, lift this up and it slides down over that so it's secured in um, the ceiling was terribly water damaged so we just used a bamboo Luan for the ceiling and then there's uh, the tape to match where the seams come in and we had a hole here <laughs> but we forgot to put the wiring down through it's actually the 12 volt wiring anyway for a light so eventually at some point I would probably like to put like a chandelier or something there um, but for now it works fine and it's not connected so my air conditioner there won't be a fire hazard from that not being connected this is the back um, sleeping area for the back end of this so it's just hinged and then it comes down and lays on here we reinforced these um, just because we felt like it would be safer this is actually where I keep my cupcakes when I'm transporting them I just set this down and set all my cupcakes up here and go and they actually don't tip over which is pretty cool these lamps I got at either Lowe's or Home Depot because the lamps that were in here were so dated and broken that I couldn't um, keep them and I wasn't really about restoring this I was renovating it so for me I was okay with not keeping it um, this is the fabric that I have throughout the camper it is starting to fade already and it's only like a year old so I try to keep my curtains closed and I did do double siding on my curtains um, but for this video to get some light in here I'm leaving them open life is short eat cupcakes had some water damage over here I don't know if you guys can see it in the video but like right in here which means it was coming up here traveling up so the curve of the camper was still needing some work on the outside so I got that again fixed this year hopefully fixed right my next goal is to get a cover you know like a real nice like a basically a garage for this but you know I got to make some money first I need to touch up some things like these little hinges to hold it and stuff like that uh, moving over here still beadboard all the way around except for where it's painted blue um, I did put this paper towel holder up the other day I got that from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was really hard to find one that was like this rather than one that just sits on the counter. I didn't want it to sit on the counter and be in the way when I'm selling my cupcakes. So I did it like that. Um, haven't changed anything with the back of the sink. You know, doing like a backsplash. It's beadboard. I might 
at some point put up like a cute contact paper. This had a cover over it because it's the piping for the plumbing. Um, but I didn't like the cover and it didn't really go with the beadboard. So I just used my red duct tape to cover that up and I think it looks fine. Um, I did paint the hood and the stove. I'm not going to be using the stove so I didn't have to use the heat you know, paint so that it wouldn't matter. I just used the red and then I painted these gray, which I'm going to have to have something to kind of cover up here while I'm selling. Again, with the piping, I, or plumbing, I keep calling it piping. Um, with the plumbing, I didn't want to, again, have to hook up, put water in the tank, empty out the, you know, brown water tank and all that stuff. So what we decided to do was do a gravity feed system. So you put water up above and a tank fished it down through and then it goes out of this um, faucet and then it gets caught by a tub down here which I'm gonna have to get like a nicer little tub container to hold the brown water but essentially this is just to be washing hands so I will show you this I did cut my cupboard so that I could fit my tank in there and then I just you know me and my duct tape I sound like I duct tape everything but it was just to protect the wood. Paint wasn't going to do it, and I wanted a cheap way of protecting my um, water dispenser. And I can still store some of my stuff up there, but it makes it easy for me to take this out. Here's the plastic tubing. So far, we've been lucky. It hasn't um, leaked at all, and I've, I'm keeping this under there just in case. And there is water in this tube right now, so I'll uncap this so you guys can kind of see the gravity feed system sort of working. So we flip this up and then you turn this on and you got your water and then you probably won't, well I guess I could show it running down here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. And then it just fills up there. But all the plumbing was cracked and there was antifreeze that they did which was kind of pointless because it was already cracked and it got all over this which I'm going to be getting, I have new contact paper down here. I'm going to put new contact paper there. This was original with the camper. I'm sure not truly original original but I loved it even though it's a little old looking and needs cleaning. To me I love it. Um, I'll close this off, shut the lid on here. Sorry, my camera worked one-handed and it's just me. And right now I just have it raised up on a <clears throat> glove box that I use, you know, to, to um, when I'm messing with my cupcakes. When I want to hold this in better, I'm just going to get like a bungee cord that I'll drill a little spot with a hook and bungee it in. Um, that's similar to what I actually do over here. I usually have my cardboard or I'm sorry, my chalkboard signs and stuff like that, and I use this hook. I take this vent cover off, I put it in the bathroom, and then I hook up one end of the orange to here and then wrap it around my stuff and hook it into down there. I hope this video doesn't come off as rambling like a crazy person. I did do two-tone. I wanted to be kind of cute on the inside of this, so that's why the inside is pink and then the outside is blue because I wanted to mix up a little bit with the blue and red and white so that I have a, a little bit of a different accent color and that's this pink. Um, my cupcake change bank, my disposable gloves, some more paper towels because you can't have enough paper towels and then these are the little napkins that I give out with my cupcakes. I got pissed all over this. I still need to clean the camper. It's, it's not really completely finished from being out of storage. But essentially, that's it. Um, I don't know what else to do or say or show you. That's pretty much all there is to it. Oh, I guess for beds, if you do want to camp in it, this is still campable. You just slide that out. That holds two people. That holds two people. Then this table comes down, wedges in between those two things and then the cushions would slide over that and that holds two people. So essentially this camper holds, uh, or sleeps six and it's 16 feet from the back to this part, not my actual hitch that's outside. Um, and that's pretty much it, I guess. Nothing really more to show, I don't think. The trunk is hideous, I gotta fix that. 
There's storage in there, storage under this. There's a tank under there that I'm going to probably be getting rid of or selling. Of course, storage in those. Yeah, that's it.